Hello guys, I am back from another video and today to come up with a deco was in Infinite Strata. I was still in the last video. Well, I'm just gonna talk about, well, the most important parts about what happened last time. So, yeah. So, last time, well, apparently the the creator of the IS, known as Melissa Shinonono, decided to, well, make a personal IS for her sister. Being Kendall Shinonono. So, yeah. When they arrived, well, everybody's in shock. Including Izuku, which... Not in shock that she... Act, that Izuku was in, uh, wanted to, well, meet her. Well, it's more like in shock because, well, he's terrified of what she's going to do. So, when she showed everybody, well, Kendall's, um, well, personal IS, known as the Katsubaki... Well, after a bit of, well, testing, well, apparently there, you, there was a distress call. Apparently, there was an IS known as the Gospel. Well, well, that malfunctioned and now is going to get ready to Japan. Or at least going to Japan so it can destroy the area because, well, it was malfunctioning. So, during the whole, like, conversation about, well, how to defeat this, well, this malfunctioning IS... Well, everything was, um, well, well, pushed over to Izuku because, well, Izuku's IS is a powerful enough to basically, well, destroy the, well, well, the gospel. But also, during the conversation, well, Melissa, well, want to tell everybody a story on how, well, how did... This IS, known as Librido, aka Izuku's IS, came to be. And not only that, she also told everybody that she's one of the co-creators um, of that IS. So yeah, she's about to, well, well, tell a story about how she actually created it with, well, Izuku's grandfather. But I stopped the, well, episode from there because, well... I was tired at the time, so yeah. So, let us start the episode and also the story. So, yeah. So, let's talk about what happens next. So, the story starts, well, in a different country. As in different country, I mean Italy. So, at the time, Melissa was, well, um, 15. But in, well, the present day, she's like, um, well... 20, 21-ish, I don't, don't really know. Let's just say she's like, um, 21-ish in, well, in, like, present day. And in the story, she's like, well, 15 years old. So, this is after, well, Kendo, well, um, moved away. So, yeah, we first. At this time, well, Kendo was, well, traveling the, well, the continent, well, well, while well, inspecting several of these, well, ISs, or at least the IS cores that she made, so companies can, well, well, make special ISs. So, at, at that time, well, she basically was, well, well, going with, well, with Izuku's grandfather, which I decided to give, uh, give him a name. So, yeah, his name is... Akechi Midoriya. So, I'm gonna call him Akechi Midoriya because, well, it seems great of a name. So, yeah. So, during their time at the, well, at Italy, they were, well, well, at the time, Italy was currently in a, well, war with, a, with well, a gang. Specifically, a mafia. This mafia was called the, were called the Sons of Ares. Because, well, they were brutal in their, well, um, well, fighting, killing anybody. And when they heard that, well, Miss Shinonono, aka Melissa, was coming to, well, Italy, they decided to, well, try and capture her and basically tell her to make ISs for them. So, at that time when they were there, well... Izuku's grandfather, aka Akechi, 
decides to well, help her out in treating a special IS that's going to be a present for, well, for Izuku's dad. So, yeah, wait for a second again. So, Akechi at the time, he was, well, maybe like, about like, in his like, um, um, like, um, late 60s or 70s, I don't really have, like, an age for him. Let's just say, like, he's, like, um, like, um, like, 60, um, 60 years old or 70, I don't know. So, yeah, so, at that time, he was, well, pretty no knowledgeable about, well, of, well, special types of, well, well, military arms. Especially because, well... Well, he used to be a general in the, well, what's a group? Let's just say a gang war, a really big gang war back in the day. So, yeah, he was really not knowledgeable about, well, several different types of weapons that they used back then. So, yeah, at that time, well, Melissa decided to, well, make an IS specifically for boys. So... During that time, she was still in the, well, concept stage. So, during the concept stage, she was still, well, thinking of ideas for the IS's, well, ability. She found out about this special IS that was being created. Well, in, actually, it's more like, um, three ISs. These three ISs that were being created were from England, Germany and well and the Iron Claw IS which the Iron Claw IS was originally they wanted to make it and also it's from well from Switzerland but unfortunately it didn't make it to the concept stage because it was too well high resourced well um IS so it's probably not going to be in production so she took all of these well ISs which these ISs that were going to be made, specifically the um one from Germany was the Schwarzenegger, and uh, and the one from like England was called the Blue Tears. So when she created this IS, she was making it well. She wanted to make it out of well this special material. This special material was made from a meteorite many years ago. So. After getting enough money to finally make this IS, this IS was given the name Librido, but she originally wanted to call it Chimera because it's a Chimera. If you didn't know, Chimera is a creature in in Greek mythology, which said to be um, a mix a lion and a snake. But in modern times, it's either a goat, lion, or dragon, or something else. But in modern times now, it's also um, a word for, well, describing a hybrid. That's why it was given the name Librido. And if you didn't, well, um, um, click in your mind, yes, I designed the IS, aka moi, me, I made this drawing, and you did. The, if you didn't know, I actually do lots of drawings. So yeah, I did the IS um based off the well Chimera creature in mythology. So yeah, so Melissa, after creating the IS, well, it was about to do the testing stage until well when well Akechi was about to well go into the IS to try and test it. Well, she was. I meant he was informed by, well, well, wait for a second. I'm really sorry about that. It just annoyed me. So, before he can, well, try and test out the IS for himself, he was informed by, well, by an orphanage, or at least a hospital, that, well, Asashi and Inko were killed in an accident. So, yeah, so, he had to go back to Japan, but... He decided to, well, bring the IS as well. The IS known as Librido. So, the IS was never used all that much. Because of that, well, it 
was, well, obscured. Nobody even knows the IS except for Akechi, aka Ziku's grandfather, and uh, Melissa herself. And also, so by the way, this IS was incomplete. It was not really finished. Apparently, well, she didn't get enough funding for the IS. The IS was originally going to be, um, well, originally is going to have like several different types of weapons. But unfortunately, the IS, or at least, uh, well, the, um, how do I say it? The technologies was, well, was not, um, not up to date for her standards. So, yeah, this IS was, was, was not up to date for her standard. So, yeah. When, well, Akechi decided to, well, bring it, she allowed it because, well, it was not, well, in her interest anymore. So, yeah. So, at that time, well, when Izuku was, well, um, well, was being trained by, well, by Akechi, as in trained, I mean, well, being taken care of, I mean, Izuku was sometimes trained by, well, by Akechi on how to learn about, well, surviving, and not only that, on learning how to, well, well, kill. Because, after all, he used to be, well, a part of a war. So, yeah. So, during those days, well, Melissa, she wanted to, well, um, get that IS back. So she can upgrade it with the latest technologies. Not only that, she even got an idea for the final product. Wanting to call this, um, IS. Well, wanting to call this IS. This IS Typhon. But she didn't get, well, enough time to make it. Because, well, she basically forgotten about it. But when she, um, was informed by, well, well, by some people that a boy that's a boy that um well finally or at least uh, I'm talking about Izuku like when when she got informed by well some people that well there's a boy that's able to use an IS in Japan she, when she looked at the IS th that was being well used by this boy she recognizes it so after the girls were basically in shock. Izuku said this. Wait, that IS? My IS? Librido? It was more my father? As Melissa says this. Yeah, unfortunately, well, when your father died... Uh, that's quite a touching subject. And... You, your fa- your grandfather, Akechi, he didn't, well, want to use it because, well, sh he believed that, well, it would bring up, well, horrible, horrible memories. So, yeah. And that is why I want to, well, have it back. So I can upgrade it. So I can make it much more powerful. Izuku hesitates a little bit. But Izuku still remembers about that, well, that, well, raging IS, or that, well, rampaging IS that's about to, well, go to Japan and basically destroy it. The gospel. Izuku says this. <sighs> Fine. So, after giving his IS to, well, Melissa, she starts going off as she starts acting like her, well, crazy self. As she says this. Okay, bye! As she goes into, well, her lab, the girls look at Izuku, but, well, the girl that was, well, a bit, well, how do I say it, in shock, and also confusion, and not only that, kind of mad, that girl was Kendo. Izuku decides to, well, leave this, well, um, well, leave it at that as he goes to well to the hotel thing so izuku was in his room just thinking of well why did his grandfather 
did dice. Why did he decide to well make this IS for for his father? It just puzzled him. Is Izuku started gel started getting a little bit angry at himself. As Izuku gets a knock at the door, as Izuku sees, well, it's Kendo. Kendo said this. Izuku. Izuku says this. Kendo. Kendo basically sits down with Izuku. As Kendo says this. <laughs> that was actually quite... Wait for a sec. That's quite, um, well, crazy, well, situation that we're, we're well, in. Izuku says this. Yeah. That whole thing about, well, Melissa being the co-creator of this, well, IS. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah. After a bit talking, she says this. Izuku. Izuku says this. What is it, um, Kendo? As Kendo says this. Izuku. You don't mean to be this- You don't want- You don't mean to be, um, well, scared. Izuku says this. I, I'm not scared. I'm just. I'm just so confused. <sighs> anyway. I think it's better for you to well, go to sleep. I'll be going to sleep as well. As. Well, Kendo says this. Alright. Guess I'll be going to sleep as well. See ya. Izuku says this. Okay. Night. So, yeah. So. When it's basically well the next day, it's the next day where they're going to be fighting. Well, the gospel. The gospel is basically going at supersonic speeds. Everybody's outside, getting ready to fight it. As well, Izuku was there. Um, while sitting down, Izuku sees well. Izuku sees Melissa. As Melissa says this, Hey Zuku, well, your IS is going to be taking a little bit longer, so yeah, you just need to wait a little bit longer. So yeah, bye. She turns off to, uh, she, and I meant she turns off, I meant she basically goes back to, well, her lab. As Zuku says this, <sighs> I feel kind of bad. As the girl said this, don't worry Zuku, we got this. As Bako said this, yeah, don't worry. And besides, my wait for a second. Don't worry, my Shinlong is able to take down that IS, even if it's well really overpowered. As for Momo, she says this, yeah, don't worry, my glorious blue tears will bring Eglin. I meant egg. I meant um, wait for. Will bring elegance to this battle. For, well, Monoma, she says this, yeah, don't worry. And besides, after we finish this battle, maybe you can go to my room later. As the girl said this, Monoma, as Todoroki says this, don't worry. I will try and do this. Really good. Not only that, I'll, I'll do my best in taking down that, that IS. Even if you're, well... Well, well, Asizuka says this, well what? As she says this, never mind, guess I'll be getting ready to go now. And finally, Kendo. Kendo says this, Zuku, you don't need to worry. We'll be fine. And besides, we have our own personal ISs. Our, I our ISs are just going to be, well, just going to be like, well, in the front line. When your when your IS is ready, well, your well, well, she kind of looks worried. Azika says this. Are you worried about something? Um, wait for a second. Are you worried about something, Kendo? As she says this. Oh, nothing. I'm not worried about anything. So yeah. So Aizawa says this. Right, girls, get ready. It seems that the, it seems that the gospel is getting ready to well, uh, intercept our um airspace. As the girls turn on their ISs, as they started going off to well, to the, well, 
to the area where the um, gospel is. So yeah, just imagine just like in the anime, except for the, um, Izuku slash, well, Ichika. I mean, Izuku is basically like the Ichika, well, um, equivalent. So yeah, the girls are starting to fight, well, the gospel. So yeah, so back to Izuku. Izuku is basically just, well, uh, waiting around. As Bin Knight says this, Hey Izuku, are you okay? Izuku says this, um, don't worry, um, Bin Knight. <laughs> Izuku's kind of worried because, well, well, just imagine that feeling of like, eh, like this dread, like flow over you because, well, that thing, the gospel, that s, would probably destroy everything if, if those, well, if Izuku's well, well, harem, basically get defeated, well. The IS wins. I'm talking about the gospel as the gospel. Just imagine that. The gospel. That IS destroying your homes. Just killing your family. Just imagine that. Even probably killing your well loved ones. Like your friends. It would probably terrify you. Just imagine that. Izuku was well kind of afraid. So. So, oh, a few hours have gone by as Izuku is kind of worried about the IS. As Izuku hears a noise, Izuku sees, well, well, Melissa arrives as she says this. Alright, Izuku, Izuku, um, here, your IS is finished. Izuku says this. Whoa, my IS, it looks different. As she says this, yep. This is your brand new IS, or at least the completed version. Meet Typhon Ascended. As Izuku says this, Typhon Ascended. As she says this, yep, it's a IS name that I decided to well pick. Typhon was a bit too lame, so I decided to put Ascended because it sounded fun. And also, by the way, guys. I didn't draw the, well, IS yet, because, well, well, um, I was too tired at the time, and also, by the way, guys, I'm, this is just going to be a season finale, as in season finale, I'm gonna make a season 2, where it's basically like, um, um, Infinite Straddle season 2, so just, um, just, just wait for that, if you want to call, um, well, see season 2, of, well, of well, um, what if Deku was in Infinite Straddles? Just kind of like this video. Actually, if you want to see Infinite Straddles, um, um, season two, what if Deku was in Infinite Straddles, um, um, season two? Um, well, like this video enough so you can well, um, make it. So yeah. So after Izuku activate the IS, well, his IS looks different. These, um, well, just imagine, like, the tails over here, like, the, um, like, there's, like, coat tails, just like in, like, a, um, tuxedo, but except the, like, the, the coat tails are basically in the shape of, like, snakes or serpents. Izuku gets a one, like, arm with a, well, one of his arms are basically, well, just basically this arm. Just imagine it bigger and has, like, a, well, like, like a gigantic cannon on it. Like it literally has a freaking cannon on it. As Izuku sees it's like floating shield over here. Well, it's in the shape of well um well that's well in mythology, known as the Aegis, I believe it's called. Apparently it's a shield that's supposed to um well have the picture of uh, Medusa. Apparently in legend, if you look into that um well a um, mirror or at least that shield, you're basically turned to stone. Basically just like how Medusa um um turns you into stone. It, apparently it's like a symbol for like um Athena, I believe. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I like um um read up on like some um Greek mythology. Because lately I've been watching some nurse. Actually, let's don't talk about that. Anyway, 
So, after after the transformation, Izuku's well, um, other arm is basically changed. His like whole color scheme changed. Instead of like this like white um like white purple red color scheme, it has like a different color scheme. One is like instead of like being pure white, it's pure like black and the um the whole like um glow um this like the purple parts they're basically turned blue and for the, um like the red parts well they're pure silver Izuku says this whoa my yes my is feels much more powerful and for the mask wait for a second as for the mask Izuku's mask is completely different. Izuku's mask looks absolutely glorious. Mask looks well. Just imagine as a just imagine it's a mask like for like like have you seen like Phantom of the Opera? Just imagine that mask. Yeah. So Izuku starts flying as in just like um just um using the feet as like um propulsion. Well. Izuku starts cr starts creating these large, gigantic wings. Basically, like um, just imagine the blue tears. Um, well, um, wings. Or just imagine Izuku starts flying around. So basically in pain. Todoroki was basically well completely tired. Monoma is also tired. Izuku says this. I'm coming. Izuku starts on um, well starts charging in and Izuku um basically tries to summon out well his like drone things or whatever they're called. But instead of like um well basically like um coming out just like well um like the blue tears is like drones instead it uh, it basically comes out of his back as it shoots out a concentrated well blue laser as the blue laser slices a bit of well the um well the gospel is the gospel starts malfunctioning a little bit more as the girl said this who was that as they see izuku wielding his brand new is known as typhon um, Typhon ascended. As they said this, whoa, what the heck? What happened to your IS, Izuku? Says, um, wait for a second. Um, said Momo. As Mo, as Momo heard this from Izuku, well, my IS has been upgraded, or at least finally been completed, and it feels awesome. Izuku decides to bring out his swords, but instead of swords, they're like tomahawks. Izuku says this. Ho ho ho! It seems that I have many axes! Izuku throws them as the axes basically, well, uh, slash into the uh, into the gospel IS as well, arms. They basically come back like, um, well, Kratos is like, um, axe. Izuku decides to bring out his, well, scythe. The scythe is, like, bigger and larger and sharper. Basically, well, just imagine, like, um... Just imagine a really, really, really cool scythe. Like, the most badass one that you can think of. Wait for a second. So, when Izuku starts charging in at the Gospel IS, Izuku slashes it a little bit on the legs. As in legs, I mean one of the legs. After slicing it a little bit, the IS starts, well, um, starts going out of control. The IS starts shooting out, um, well, missiles at Izuku. Specifically, Izuku's scythe transforms into, well, into a much larger scythe. Like, it's about the same length as Izuku's IS is already. Not like, um, like, the, the actual stock. It's actually more like the blade. Blade basically becomes, well, larger and much more, well, how do I say it? As the scythe basically just, um, creates a beam. Just imagine the death side from like um um the death side from like Gundam 
just imagine that is but it uh, creates a slash of like um well a blue energy as the blue energy slices it um slices one of the arms of the well of the gospel is as you can said this now let's see what are my shotguns as the shotguns look like well mini dane's leaves and if you don't know what are dane's leaves well <laughs> well just imagine them as like um like ballistas like ballistas in like um um but um more modern yeah they're basically like uh they're basically from um gundam the, these like um mini dane's leaves basically start um getting fired out as the bullets basically scatter, as they stab into the IS, it basically explode. The IS was basically just a torso. The IS basically starts, well, charging at Izuku. The IS starts sticking onto Izuku as well, um, IS. Izuku says this, what in the... As the IS starts a self-destruct sequence. Izuku says this, dang it! As the girl says, Izuku, Izuku says this, Run! It's about to explode! As every girl starts saying, No! Izuku! Uh, as one of them being Kendall said this, I'm not leaving you! As Izuku says this, Don't worry! Just save yourselves! The girls were, were in complete dread. As one of them said this, Okay. And that person who said that, was Bakugo. As Bakugo said this, Don't worry girls, Izuku will be okay. As the girl said this, Are you crazy? As Bakugo said this, Don't worry, He'll be okay. I just hope. As they started moving out of the well, the blast radius, Izuku says this, Well, if you're taking me, um, if you're taking me, Well, I hope you'll die, you damn stupid is as the is explodes creating a big and huge explosion to the point that um well it can be heard across the well the continent all the way to well china so yeah everybody including the girls see the explosion as they see falling down like going down towards the well to the um ocean as kendo starts well um well flying towards izuku with her um with her is katsubaki as she catches izuku so they brought izuku to a hospital as izuku was still in his mindscape Izuku was, well, basically in pain. Izuku, Izuku sees his grandfather. Izuku said this. Grandfather, Akechi. As Akechi, aka Izuku's grandfather, said this. Oh, it's been a long time, Izuku. Izuku says this. Why? Why did you give me this IS? It just hurts. It just hurt people. As, well, Akechi said this. It's not. It's just, well, it's just depending on you. So, Izuku, if you really want to, well, protect people, then protect people with your IS. It's really powerful to the point that that is able to rival other types of ISs. And Izuku, you're able to protect people with that IS. You just need to believe in yourself. Okay? Izuku says this. Okay, grandfather. As Izuku's grandfather tells Izuku to wake up. To wake up. As Izuku wakes up, Izuku sees the rest of his harem. Including Aizawa at midnight. He also sees Melissa. As Melissa said this. Hey Izuku. So are you okay? Izuku says this. Oh. What the hell happened? 
as Izuku gets hugged by Kendo, as Kendo said this, You dummy! I almost thought that you died! As Izuku said this, Um, Hello, Kendo. As Izuku hugs her as well. As to the rest of the girl, as the rest of the girls being well, Izuku's harem, specifically um, Momo, Todoroki, um, Mon Monoma, and Bakugo said this in sync. What are you doing, Izuku? And Izuku said this. Um, I'm just hugging Kendo. As all, as all of the girls basically start like uh, rushing Izuku as they're trying to hug Izuku. As the girl said this, <sighs> Izuku. You really need to be careful next time. As you can say this. Don't worry guys. I'm okay. That's all that mattered. Sorry about that. So yeah. That was the end of this well well of this series. So yeah. So before you guys leave, um this is not really the end of this series because well I'm gonna make um well what if Deku was in Infinite Straddle Season 2? So, if you want to, well, um, see me make that, I want all of you guys to basically, well, um, well, like the video until, like, it's, well, maybe, like, um, um, 10 likes on this video so I can make, um, Season 2 happen. So, yeah, so... If you want to see season 2 of What If Deku was in Infinite Straddle, so just um, keep commenting until it's like 10 likes or more. So yeah, so I hope you liked the video, comment and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye